Collision detection methods are used to detect collision between two objects with colliders. Currently, this cube has a box collider attached. Different collision detection methods are used in different scenarios. Discrete collision detection basically means Unity will try to detect for collisions after every fixed time step. So what is the value of fixed time step? If you go to edit, project settings, time, you will notice the value of fixed time step to 0.02. .02. Now, so this means that Unity will try to detect collisions after every 0.02 .02 seconds. Out of all these options, you will need discrete method most of the time. And performance wise discrete is the best as well. But if in your game you have a very fast moving object, then there could be a problem. So if I hit on the play button right now, you will notice that the cube collides with the ground without any problem. But what if the cube was moving at a very high speed? So I'm gonna move the cube up a bit and go to edit, project settings, physics, and now I'm going to change the value of gravity to negative 90.81. I am just doing this in order to increase the speed with which the cube falls down. Now if I hit on the play button, you will notice that the cube fell through the ground. This is because fast moving objects cover way more distance from one frame to the next frame. So it's possible that the object may skip over other objects without registering a collision. But slower objects do not cover that much distance between frames, that's why discrete collision is able to detect the collision.